Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really well. Um, I'm excited about today's video. I've been thinking a lot about what I wanted to do next and I wanted to do something a little bit different than um, what I have done in the past. So I decided that since I have a shit ton of makeup that I no longer use um, often, I'm gonna go through it. And so I guess this is kind of like my anti haul video. Um, if you haven't already, uh, please go and click the little subscribe button, the red button, subscribe button. Go ahead, hit that for me, please. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is I am going to go in and go through all of the a bazillion foundations I have that I do not use any longer. Um, goodness. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So I didn't bring down the makeup that I do use, um, the stuff that I use on a, you know, on a daily basis, because obviously I'm not going to get rid of that. Um, I have been using still my, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation. I still really really love it. My skin I'm having um, I'm going through a little rough patch Right now uh, if you guys can see I'm really really, really red and blotchy um, And I don't know if that has anything to do with the foundation or the Insane amount of stress that I've been under so I don't know what this is all about But the ABH does cover it lovely. So I have this this was my one of my first um face primers that I bought from Sephora and I just thought that it was, it's empty. I don't, why do I still have it? Why do I still have it in my box? I don't even know. Um, but I just thought this was like the best primer in the whole wide world um, because I had not tried really anything else and come to find out it's actually not so hot. So we're going to get rid of this. And the next one I am going to, the foundation I'm going to use, this is actually from uh, New Skin. It's a direct sales company that I used to, I still do sell for, but um, I basically just use it for the discounts. They have amazing skincare products and they um, have a small cosmetic line and um, they just have, they have this toothpaste, this teeth whitening toothpaste that I use and that's the only place to get it and we get a hell of a discount, so um, if I'm going to use it, then I might as well get a huge discount on it. So um, so this is the uh, foundation that I got from them. This is the New Skin New Color Advanced Liquid Finish, um, and um, I'm going to kind of like test these all over my face. This is actually, it's not a bad foundation. It really, really isn't. Um, it is a little... It's just not full coverage. That's the only thing. I'm actually gonna keep it. It was like, I think it was like 20 bucks. Um, it's good to have in a pinch. In the summer, uh, I like to use it. It's really light. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you guys can see. It's just, it's a very regular coverage foundation. I was obsessed with this. This is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Cream Makeup. This is the color Buff Chamoy. Um, and as you can see, it is like almost bone dry. This was before I really understood how to color match. And wait until you see how wrong I got this. Ready? Look at that. <laughs> um, I don't even know if they make this anymore. I do have to say the coverage is fantastic for a drugstore foundation. This, if you can find this, I don't even, I don't know if they make it. Um, if they do make it, I would probably sort it out and maybe get it in a color that is a little bit more my color. Um, but this is really light. I don't think I did a big enough spot for you guys to even tell like how light, how it is just not like my color at all yeah it's just too light um, so we will be getting rid of that this um, is the wet n wild photo focus foundation in soft ivory I think this I got the color wrong on this too and people raved about this raved about it when it came out and I do like the photo focus primer 
So for like $4, I said, what the hell? Let's give it a shot. I hate this foundation. Everything about it. I hate everything about it. Everything about it. First of all, I hate this. What is this? I hate this. I hate this. The smell, it smells like, oh, oh. It smells like dead flowers. I don't know. I just don't like it. The color is 100% not right for me at all. Um, and then the other color, like the next color up was like too dark. Yeah, look it. <laughs> so um, I am not a fan. If you love it, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know if like a damp beauty blender helps or whatever, but... I, it, it looks, it goes on okay, and, but then it, it was very cakey for me. I don't know. I just, I just wasn't feeling it. So, I'm going to get rid of that. This is the Ramel London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. I think I used this once. Um, it's literally, like, has the consistency of toothpaste. I'm a full coverage bitch. Like, I like my full coverage, but this is a little bit ridiculous but let's let's um blend that out I mean the coverage you know the coverage isn't bad this it's not bad really uh, you know what maybe I didn't give this like a, a big enough shot I don't know what do you guys think leave it in the comments let me know what you think. You know what? This is really not that bad. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. Let me look in a mirror. It is a little cakey. It's a little bit, it's very matte. Like it's as matte as matte can be. Hmm. I'm gonna hold on to this one. Um. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this product. This is a makeup eraser. I do, uh, I am, I do sell for makeup eraser. I'm not trying to sell to you guys at all. Um, but this is like a miracle cloth. I don't know if any of you have ever tried it. It, um, it takes your makeup off just like that with no chemicals. All I did was wet this. Um, if you guys haven't tried it, highly recommend it. You can contact me. I'm not going to... My YouTube channel is not for purpose of sales. So I'm not going to sit there and cheat your ear off about it. But if you've never heard about it and you want to know more about it, reach out to me and I will tell you. Because let me tell you, my life would not be the same without this pink cloth. It's amazing. So the last foundation that I have here is the l'oreal infallible total coverage so this is a full coverage weightless feel um i used this for a little while and again just kind of like um kind of like the rimmel i don't know it was it's cakey it's it's pasty i know you can have full coverage without toothpaste i'm just saying you can so let me put that on there I'll blend this out. Let's try my circles. We'll do my circles under my eyes. It does cover pretty well. Um, I can't say it has that it's bad coverage. I don't know why I stopped using this. I, I don't think I... I don't think I can give you guys a good reason. I don't know whether I like this one better or the Rimmel. It's tough. It's a tough call. Maybe I'll do half my face with one and half with the other. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put this on half my face and then I'm gonna put um, the Rimmel on the other half and I'm gonna see which one I like better. Cause I'm gonna keep, I have so much makeup. I need to, um, I need to make room so I can get more makeup. <laughs> um, Cause can you ever really have enough? But I just don't use this stuff and it's just building up. Oh my God, all of these, I, I went through this phase where I loved these like, um, these like cream eye makeups I I don't know it was the weirdest phase um so I'm gonna get rid of these so this is the 
um, makeup eraser, ample lash, fiber mascara, and I um, I used to wear this every single day. This was like my go-to. I used to really, really, really enjoy this product, and um, once I got into, once I tried some of the like the higher end ones, I. I just kind of stopped with it. I'm going to give it a shot right now. I need a little mirror and see if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to let it go. So that's the, like the gel of it. And these are the fibers. I tried the, the one like this from Unique a while ago, um, but the gel for some reason, even though it didn't like even go near my eyeballs, it burned. It burned my eyes like really bad. It was not pleasant. So I was hesitant to try these and I was also hesitant because of the fibers and I wear contacts. So, I mean, put two and two together, you get one of these suckers stuck in your contacts and it is, um, it is not pleasant. But you know what? They... In place of a falsy, like it's not, it's not bad. The ample lash. I think I might hold on to this. This isn't that old. Um, I mean, you can definitely tell the difference. I'm gonna keep this. This is a keeper, I think. We're gonna keep that. These are Milani um, compacts that I'm definitely gonna hold on to. Also, this Maybelline because this color is life. I can't even deal. Um, this is my Maybelline New York Nudes palette. And as you can see, I've hit 10 on many of these colors. I think it's time to say goodbye. My NYX Smoky Look Kit. I've had this forever, but these shadows are actually pretty decent. And I don't have any other kits that have grays in them. So we're going to hold on to that. And then I got this from Hush. This was the first palette I ever bought off Hush. And I don't know why I ever went back and bought another one. Because this one was horrible. Horrible. Not cool. We're going to get rid of this. My Infallible Paints. Love this. I love this color. I don't know where I'm ever going to wear it to. But I love it. I have this is my Ample Lash Sassy. I'm going to keep that because it's just the best red. It's just the best red. This was, um, this is the Maybelline Infallible Total Cover Contour Kit um, that I have tried to use numerous times and for some reason it always just makes me look like a clown. I cannot get contouring down with cream. junk. And this is the Matte Poreless Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And in a pinch, if you need some lighter coverage, this actually is pretty good. So I'm going to hold on to that as well. Okay. Um, Elizabeth Arden Eye Makeup Remover. You can never have enough of that. And we are definitely going to keep my ample scrub. All right. This is my lipstick box. So I'm going to go through here. Um, this is probably about 11 years old, so let's just get rid of it so I don't wind up with, like, Mercer or something. These I got, um, these I just bought on a whim. I, I don't even know where the rest of them are, but I'm going to keep them. They're, they're just, like, they're called lip glass. They're from, I think, from MAC, actually. Yeah, MAC lip gloss. And um, they're just wicked vibrant colors. Let's see. I'm telling you guys, it takes off everything. Um, so let's try this on. Look at it. <laughs> it's all over my face. This is a mess. Okay. I have a nice purple. And a, like a redder. This is kind of like a pink. It's not really red. It looks red. 
on camera, but it's not. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep this color. This is a Revlon All Nighter. This is the Infallible Metallics by Maybelline. Love it. I love NYX Lip Butter. They're awesome. These, I mean, they don't last long. They're cheap. They're affordable. And they're really pretty colors. So if you don't mind reapplying your makeup, this is like almost gone. This is the first liquid lipstick that I have almost completed the tube but it's really old and I should probably get rid of it but this was this color is iconic it's Revlon color stay this I used every day for a long long time and it really does stay on your lips it does last long this is just the lip gloss I have like a thousand of them this babyless nope bye like look at all of these old lipsticks that I have. I'm never going to use these. Why do I hold on to them? Why do I have to hoard? I don't understand. Okay, so we will just get rid of all of those lipsticks. This one I just got um, and I really like it. This is... I can't remember who makes this. I think it is Ramel London. That's who makes it. Um, and that's pretty much about it, I think. Now I have room to go shopping. So I guess there'll be a haul coming in soon. Um, so that was it. That was kind of like my, my little D-stash video. Um, I just wanted to check in with you guys and chat a little. Um, you know, there was one thing that I wanted to talk about about um and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a whole new video about it or if it was something I could just touch on on this video but I um you know I've been trying to branch out and I've been trying to find women um you know other girls like me who are out there and are trying to do this and trying to grow and I try to support them I subscribe to their channels I try to leave comments and um, a lot of them do the same for me and I have to say that I appreciate all of you ladies so much you guys are just amazing but earlier this week um, on someone's page I, I can't believe on someone's channel I can't believe the the hate comments the nasty mean horrible horrible comments that were left on a couple of these girls things like in their comments and I haven't been doing this long and I'm by no way am I any kind of pro at any of this stuff but I'm a good person and I don't understand how you could go onto someone's beauty channel and see that they're trying to do something that they're passionate about and trying to Put themselves out there it's not easy it's not an easy thing to do to get in front of a camera and sit there and critique yourself and edit these videos and for someone to get on there and make fun of your nose or call you fat or just the you know some girl went on and, and told her that her eye look was stupid and it wasn't stupid it was beautiful she did a beautiful job it was very similar to an eye look that I did so maybe my eye look was stupid too I mean I don't know I just don't get it I I don't know I just I can't apologize on behalf of humanity I know that there are just some people out there that just suck at life like they just suck at it but you know what like it's free kindness is free it doesn't cost a penny and you want to know what it makes you feel good the people if there's any bullies out there or any women who come on here to be unsupportive and say horrible things about a girl who's just trying to make a dream come true or to just help another, I do this because I want to help other women feel confident. I want to empower other women. I don't want, I'm not doing this, I don't want to knock them down. I don't think that I'm the shit. I don't think that I'm, 
you know, God's gift or anything like that. And who am I to judge? I would never, you know what? If you don't have anything nice to say, then shut your fucking mouth and don't say anything at all. I was so angry. I'm sorry about my language, but I was just so mad at these comments that I saw. And this was the first time I had seen it. And I can only imagine like how much of it is out there. Like if you're one of those people and you're watching this, honestly, just ask yourself, like, is it worth it? At the end of the day, what do you get by going onto someone's channel, someone's Facebook page, someone's Instagram, someone's Twitter, and calling them fat, ugly, or shitting on something that they've done that they might be proud of? What, what does that do for you? Because I would feel like a giant piece of shit if I ever did that. So I don't know how you guys look at yourselves in the mirror at night. I guess that's what I wanted to say. I, to any of you out there who are doing the same thing, who, who do makeup or any other kind of videos, anything, anything that you do that you're passionate about, anything that you do that makes you happy, if someone says something to you about it that's negative, you know what, just brush it off. Let it go. They, they don't know you. They don't know anything about you. They know what they saw from a 15 minute clip on YouTube or a post on Facebook. Just everybody out there is beautiful. You can be fat, you can be skinny, you can be white, you can be black, you can be, um, you know, bald, you could be wrinkly, you can have, what is it, acne, you can have horrible flakes on your skin, uh, red marks, pimples, zits, anything, whatever, whatever in anyone else's eyes they think is not beautiful. But at the end of the day, when it all comes down to it, it's not about any of this. And it's about what's in here. And I would never, ever intentionally go out of my way to try and break someone else's soul. And I hope that I have the kind of subscribers now and for years to come, as long as I'm doing this, that wouldn't do that either. That's all. I had to get that off my chest. I just wanted to address that. And that's it. So, probably not my most interesting video, but it was something that needed to be done. And I figured, why not do it with the people I love? So, that's it. So, that is the end of my video for today. And I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will see you very soon. And if you haven't already done it, hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Like my videos. And I will see you guys soon. I love you all so much. Bye-bye.